All right. So last thing I want to go over with you is area. So here's some basic areas. Uh, so you have your area of a rectangle or a square is base times height. The area of a triangle is one half base times height. And that's because every triangle is a half of a quadrilateral, uh, which you can find out by playing around with it sometime. But that's why where that formula comes from. It's just half of a rectangle. So uh, that's it. So these are some formulas that you need to know. Uh, basic ones that you probably have been exposed to already, I hope. Let's say you want to take the area of this guy. A lot of people will start freaking out that they don't know the formula to, you know, for a shape like this. But it's really easy if you just realize that this is a rectangle with a triangle attached to it. And so you can find the area of the rectangle and then add it to the area of the triangle. So we're going to do that for one example here. We're going to say that this is a map and uh, your grandparents just died and left you an inheritance. Hopefully that's not uh, a real life scenario for any of you right now, but that's our pretend scenario. It's a pretty good inheritance too, which you'll find out. But on your map, uh, the distances of this property that they left you, pretty weird property shape, but that's okay, are two inches for the base here of the triangle, two inches of the height, two inches of the height of the rectangle, and four inches uh, for the base. Now, we, our scale is for every one inch on our map, there's 24,000 inches in real life. So, for two inches, we're going to have 48,000 inches in real life because for every one inch there's 24,000 so 24 times 2 is 48 so 2 inches in, on the map is 48,000 inches in real life and to find feet we just divide that by 12 so 48,000 divided by 12 is 4,000 alright uh, so we can just since 4 is double 2 we can just double 48,000 and double 4,000 and get our our numbers here or we can just do 24,000 times 4 up here because we know for every one inch on the map there's 24,000 in real life alright so here's the rest of our calculate our uh, conversions so we know that 2 inches again is 4,000 feet so now we gotta find the area of the triangle so we're gonna do one half and our base is 4,000 feet and our height is 4,000 feet so one and a half base times height, so we know 4,000 times 4,000 is going to be 16 million, because we have six zeros in there, and 4 times 4 is 16, so 16 million, and then times a half, so we're going to be at 8 million. Alright, and then we're going to add the area of the rectangle, I said square here, but that's okay. Uh, so the height is 4,000, and the base is 8,000 feet. Uh, again, we know that because we converted from inches to feet. And so 4,000 times 8,000 is 32 million. So we add them together. We have our 8 million and our 32 million. And we end up with 40 million square feet of property that your grandparents left you. So pretty good inheritance. Uh, you're pretty set. You could probably quit school and just, I don't know, whatever you'd want to do if you quit school and didn't ever work again in your life. But... Uh, yeah, that's not actually going to happen, but hopefully that helps you uh, to learn to convert uh, from inches on a map to whatever unit in real life, and uh, that you'll be able to apply that to area, kind of like what we did in our lab when you found the building area. All right, so that's the end. I hope this helped you. Good luck studying. Please email me if you have any other questions, and uh, I'll see you in class.